IntelliJ IDEA 16 brings improved support for debugging in four major areas. Let me show you some of the new features we've been working on. First and foremost, when you run your application in the debugger, you'll be able to use not only just Java, but now also Groovy to evaluate expressions inside the context of a running debug session. From inside the Evaluate Expression dialog, all I need to do is select the language icon and choose Groovy. Groovy's concise syntax makes it easy to write complex statements and expressions with a minimum of extra ceremony. When I evaluate this expression, I'll be able to interact with the result. And if I need, I can evaluate this as a code fragment as well. I can use this area as a kind of scratch pad to interact with my program at this instant in its execution. And what's more is I can save a particular expression or fragment as a watch by pressing Control shift enter And when I do so, it'll be saved under the watches. What happens now is that when I resume the program and interact with it, I'll be able to see the result of evaluating that expression at any given instant in time. So it will update as I step through my application. The second major debugging feature in IntelliJ IDEA 16 is improved support for multi-threaded debugging. So here I have a simple application. There's two threads. We're going to kick them off and see what happens. First, I'm going to set a breakpoint inside of thread A and watch carefully what happens inside of the console as I step over this code. You'll see that both of these threads are being interleaved in the execution. Even though I'm just stepping through this thread, there may be other threads that are running globally. However, in IntelliJ IDEA 16, we can change this behavior. Inside of your settings menu, you can tell the debugger to resume only the current thread as you step over a line. Once we apply this option, you'll see two things. First, if the current thread you're in is being blocked by another thread, you'll be able to resume that thread so you can make progress on the current thread. And the second thing, and let's restart this to demonstrate here, is that when we step over code inside of a certain thread, we'll only see progress from that thread alone. So here you're not seeing any output from the second thread. If we set a breakpoint there, when we step over that, we'll only see progress from that thread. This feature is really helpful if you do a lot of work with concurrency. It lets you deterministically reproduce a very specific order of execution inside of the running debugger, which would be very difficult to do otherwise. The next debugging feature requires a little background. So in Java, by default, the compiler will discard any line-level variable names inside of a method. This information is typically not preserved inside of bytecode. So for example, these variable names would probably be lost when we compile the application. And this happens by default. Unless you explicitly tell Java C to generate that debugging information, it will be lost. So for example, in IntelliJ IDEA 15, if we debug this same application without that extra debugging info, then we won't be able to modify these values inside of the running debugger because it may have a general correspondence between the slots here and where the variables go, but it won't be able to change their values. Whereas in IntelliJ IDEA 16, we'll be able to take those variables and change their values whenever we need. And in almost every case, we'll be able to map the variables back to the correct slots. So typically where this is most useful is when you're debugging inside of somebody else's code. More likely than not, they won't have attached the debugging info. And as you're stepping through the code, you may have to guess, well, which slot matches up to which variable. IntelliJ IDEA takes a lot of the guesswork out of that process. The last major feature in version 16 is IntelliJ IDEA will warn you inside of the editor if the source and the bytecode don't match up. So during the course of your debugging session, if for whatever reason the source code should change without you knowing, IntelliJ IDEA will warn you of that fact. So that's four reasons why you should upgrade to IntelliJ IDEA 16. For even more reasons, Check out our other screencasts and give it a try today.